I can't remember the time. Last time hunting was this tough. But it is late in the season. I heard my first gobble this morning. Way off in here. We couldn't do nothing with him. Anyway, I'm going to just do a little cruise through the area real slow. Just call every once in a while and just do a big loop. And hopefully my luck changes. Lots of scratching in here. Some old and some fresh. Some right there. That's about the extent of my call. I'm gonna just do some little bubble clocks and some soft yelps as I move through here and just listen for turkey scratching or some drumming. Any indication that there's a turkey nearby. Because these turkeys just aren't talking much. So I'm gonna listen for the noise they can't help but make, like especially walking in the leaves and scratching the leaves. Some nice woods here. Still finding lots of turkey scratching, so they they spent quite a great deal of time in here. Multiple days. sit right here and listen for a little while but I'm gonna run this box call first my buddy Mike Lapp made this call for me it's a short box it's made of butternut and canary wood got a flame above flame got a plane in flames above me I like a backfire That checked out.
turkey just gobbled. Straight that way. Finally. Get bear on where he's at before I get too too happy. I have a good beat on him. Compass wise, I'm gonna guess he's about 250, 300 yards away. And I'm gonna just move about 100 yards closer and set up and start trying to call him in. Oh, your mother. That was that gobbler. I'm back there looking behind me and... Oh, 
Gosh. <sighs> I should have just went home. <laughs> I got to do something different. I got to work on my shooting in the off season. I don't know how I missed that. I mean, I put the bead right on. What is? You guys ever had that problem where you, you, th you think your shooting's fine, but you just can't seem to kill anything? Look at me, I'm shaking like a leaf. And you're just at a loss for what's going on. And at this point, I think it's me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's me and not the gun. I could hear that walking for the longest and, or moving in the leaves. And I'm like, what is that? Where is it coming from? It must have been this big tree right from me and the sounds directing because it sounded like it was to the left and it sounds to the right. And I, I looked around and I was like, no, it's coming back from this way. And so as I, I kind of leaned off the tree to, to turn to look behind me, I saw him right there. I don't know if he putted and caught my attention or I just saw him there, but I saw the beard hanging down. I was like, oh, that's a long beard. And he went behind that big oak or dark tree there for a moment and then popped back out. And, Put my gun up when he went behind a tree, and then when he popped back out, put it right on his neck and head. And I hope I didn't pepper him. That's the thing I fear the most. But I mean, he he took off flying, and he I thought he was gonna light that tree, but then he just went vertical, went up, and then over, so he could get some distance. So he was flying very well. <laughs> I'm shooting not so much.